both Python and JavaScript are probably one of the most popular programming languages in the world. Back in 2020, I've made a video that helps people to pick a language and I've made the video that extensively comparing JavaScript with Python like side by side. Now fast forward to 2023. I feel like a lot have been changed. The dynamic has changed and we definitely need an updated video. So in today's video, I wanted to just give you a updated version of the comparison video. It's going to compare JavaScript and Python side by side. And in today's economy, which programming languages is going to be the best programming languages for you to learn. My name is Vicky May and I am a software developer in New York City. They're both super competitive, I would say. But in today's video, I wanted to break into a bunch of different categories. So that includes a general comparison between these two. And then we're gonna jump into the job opportunities and career path between these two. And then we're gonna talk about the learning curves between these two, as well as AI and machine learning and see how these two programming languages fit into that category. Let's dive into the general comparison and let's talk about JavaScript. JavaScript is designed mainly for front end and web development. We all know that. It has a very extensive ecosystem for libraries and frameworks that work so well with front end development. If you're a front end developer, coding in JavaScript would be like heaven for you. I must say that I love every single feature of of JavaScript. However, the features are unique in a way and because it's meant for front-end development, I think that sometimes it could be very challenging for somebody who are not familiar with JavaScript. And you might probably hear some hate from people who just thinking that JavaScript is really quirky and they don't really like that, but that's okay. But let's not forget, historically, JavaScript was used for web development and it was introduced used their backend version of it, which is Node.js. And ever since Node.js was introduced, there are just way more opportunities for JavaScript developers to take a step into the backend development world. And which means using JavaScript, you can either do front end, back end, or full stack really well in the web development world. But let's not forget the nature of JavaScript was meant for front end and for web development. So now let's look into Python. On the other hand, Python is also a very versatile programming language. You probably already hear it everywhere. It's very popular and it's also really suitable for not only web development, but especially in backend and data analytics. However, just like JavaScript, Python has some of the drawbacks. It's not really a low level language, which means that it could be slow in comparison to low level languages like C++ or C and other languages like that. So in that way, I would say, yes, Python is a little bit different. And I think that in general, JavaScript and Python are both very popular, but they do have a little bit differences between these two languages. In today's job market, I feel like it is really important that we take a look into the job opportunities and the career path for both of these two languages. I don't think that y'all have any difficulties of finding a job knowing either JavaScript or Python or even both. I think both of these two languages are extremely popular and there's like huge community out there for support and looking for developers who knows how to go into one or the other programming languages. So let's take a closer look. Let's talk about JavaScript. For job opportunities, I would say that for JavaScript, there's a ton, like a lot of job opportunities that are focusing on front end web development and full stack development. And I think that the growth nowadays for front end and web developers is slowing down. There's a ton of web developers out there. And since the pandemic hits, a lot of people got laid off and a lot of the developers who also fresh out either from the bootcamp or from graduating from school, they also have a skill sets of knowing how to do web development. 
trend. It's just becoming more and more popular and unfortunately, I would say that it is getting a little bit oversaturated from 2024 looking forward. However, I would say that if you are trying to focus on Node.js, which is like a server-side coding with JavaScript, I think it's worth the shot because I think that it's going to be more and more demand in developers who can do both, who can do front-end, who can do back-end, who can do server-side development, who can take both with JavaScript. And I think that one of the drawbacks of JavaScript or like not a feature for JavaScript is that JavaScript does not have a type. So there's a rival programming language that's very similar to JavaScript, which is TypeScript. And a lot of people who knows JavaScript also knows TypeScript and it's becoming more and more popular. The fact that TypeScript really do handle large scales of applications really well. It helps with like compilers to identify errors really quickly and minimizing a lot of bugs. And because of that, I think a lot of people are looking into, you know, working in the back end with either Node.js or TypeScript. And that being said, I still feel like TypeScript is part of JavaScript. Like if you wanted to look for a TypeScript developer, it's not that hard for a JavaScript developer to just like jump into coding in TypeScript. It is very similar. The career path you're looking at are like front end, full stack, software developer, and mostly is in web development. Now let's look into Python because Python also has a ton of job opportunities. I would say even wider in comparison to JavaScript because you can easily go from web development, mostly backend though, you can easily go from there to data science or machine learning and even automation. There are just a lot more directions that you can go into knowing Python. And I think that adds up more job opportunities just in general because you can go any kind of direction really depending on what knowledge you have in terms of different libraries and frameworks that you work with. So I would say like the career path for Python would be things like a web developer, but mainly focusing on backend, a data scientist, a machine learning engineer, a software engineer, and even a DevOps engineer. And I think in this round, I would have to give Python a win because I feel like Python does have more job opportunities nowadays and especially the arrival of AI and machine learning and data science. I just think that right now at this moment, Python looks like it has more job opportunities in terms of comparing it side by side with JavaScript. Okay, let's jump into the next category, which is the learning curve, your learning experience with these two languages. So let's talk about how these two programming languages also have a really common theme, which is that both of these two languages has a large community. There's a lot of support for these two languages. And also these two languages are open source, which means allows a lot of renovations and integrations and a lot of collaborations within the community. Based off the range of job opportunities that Python can offer, I think that for now, Python is a win over JavaScript. So let's look into the learning curve for Python for now. So I think that Python is probably considered one of the most beginner friendly language. A lot of people like the syntax and it really enjoys the fact that you don't need to use any curly brackets. A lot of people really hated that. And it's very easy to read as well. It's literally like essays that you can write. It's very readable. So I would say that maybe for some people, they might consider Python is a easier language to learn for beginner. But again, it really all depends. So let's look into JavaScript for a little bit. JavaScript can be challenging for beginners due to the asynchronous concept that I've mentioned previously. However, I don't think it's that hard. I also think that a lot of people have backgrounds either in Java 
or other C languages, they might find JavaScript very similar. At the end of the day, JavaScript was written by Java, so they do have similarities. And especially if you're really into curly braces, just like me, then you probably will enjoy a little bit more with JavaScript. Since JavaScript was originally designed to run on the browser, it might get a little bit quirky at times, and some people really dislike JavaScript because of that. But some people like me, which is also quirky and a little bit <laughs> weird in a way, we really do love that part of JavaScript. And I feel like learning curve, it might be a little bit steeper for somebody who's not familiar with programming. But I also think that it really depends on your experience and where you're coming from. And you might find JavaScript like way more easier to get into than Python. Which one like really wins in this round? And I feel like learning is very subjective. So it's really hard to say, you know, Python is easier than JavaScript or JavaScript is easier than Python. I've, I've met people who say that Python is easier. And then I also met people, people like me, think that JavaScript is pretty easy to grab onto as well. So I would have to give this round kind of like a high because I feel like they are both special in their very own way. So I think that it really depending on the person who's learning these two languages. One thing that I would say is if you're not having luck learning Python, maybe try to learn JavaScript. And the same with, you know, if you're not feeling so good learning in JavaScript, maybe consider Python. Maybe sometimes it just didn't really click with you for that particular language. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're not good with learning programming. It might just be like that language is just not for you. We're get to the last round, which is comparing AI machine learning with JavaScript and Python. So let's talk about JavaScript first. This is something that I would say is not probably the number one programming languages that I would recommend when it comes to AI and machine learning. There are very limited native support for machine learning. However, JavaScript is a very good adaptive programming language, which means that the community of JavaScript developers are really considering adding more libraries and ease of use features into JavaScript for that purpose, to let this language to keep up to date with the society. So JavaScript do have a lot of libraries for AI and one of the top two that I've mentioned in the past is tensorflow.js and brain.js. And these are the two popular AI libraries that you can look into AI development. It is not as extensive as Python, but it is there. So now let's look into Python. So this is one of the reasons why Python is the number one programming language that was recommended for machine learnings and AI development. It's because of the main reason that Python has a lot of popular libraries, including TensorFlow, PyTorch, Scikit Learned, and more than that, it also has like an extensive resource and community are supporting in AI development. So just think about how Python is widely used in data science as well. So leveraging both data and predictions from data, Python is definitely a winner for this round. So what are the takeaways? I would say that both programming languages has its strengths and weaknesses. Unfortunately, with the intensive comparison between you know Python and JavaScript, I think that unfortunately in the next coming few years, Python is gonna be at the upper hand because of the trends for AIs and data science and all that stuff that are up and coming. So you probably might be surprised um, to find maybe the next few years, like the trend might change because trends are always changing. And that's why it's really important for you to keep up to date with all these new development trends. But in a way, if trends ever change into 3Ds, into ARs and VR, and even into mobile development, 
I can totally see how JavaScript would have the upper hands. And JavaScript might be a stronger choice if you are really wanted to dive into web development and you're still really interested in that field. However, if you're more of a data-driven person and you're really excited for statistics and data science and like machine learning automations and all that stuff, Python is probably the strongest language out there that you can learn. I definitely recommend you to look into other videos that I talked about different programming language that they compare side by side and my personal experience and preferences in terms of, of all these languages. And also if you're interested in learning Python, there's videos out here that teaches you how to get into learning Python. If you're a JavaScript person, look into these videos that taught you how to learn on your own. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Stay safe and adios.